there's a race in Yukon in next February 2020, and it's a hundred mile run, self supported. But again, it's still going to be like probably minus like 40 at night and stuff. It's probably going to take us 40, 45, 50 hours, maybe something like that in that, yeah. in that realm. <laughs> but it sounds so shit That's so that there's this, there's this weird like, okay, cool. It sounds like shit. I want to do it. Yeah. Because you know, after the fact, that memory is going to last you a lifetime. Yeah. You're going to get something out of it mentally and physically that you're going to sure. like, I have an edge on people now. Yeah. Like I have an edge over people, whether it's business, personally, like those small things we deal with day to day you're going to have more ammunition to deal with that. Totally. Perspective changes. Yeah. That's when people are bitches now. They are. I know. Like they, they are. I know. It's a world full of pussies. <laughs> but it, Seriously. It, it's Victims, narcissists, pussies. Yeah. This whole world. And, and you, and, <laughs> <laughs> at least 90%. <laughs> but it's like, and that's where I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Quit bitching about shit. Mm-hmm. Quit being so weak-minded that the first sign of pain or discomfort is like, I'm heading for the door. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? You know, you're gonna go nowhere in life. You're gonna have stories of why you fail. I don't think they do. I don't think people well, they do. need. Here's what they, they do. Lie to themselves they need somebody and, like me yeah. or a friend like you yeah. to be like, bro, Account- accountant. Yeah, yeah. You need. Like, you need accountable. Yeah, but they have. Yeah, a, but shit. here's. here's <laughs> <laughs> but they literally have five or ten friends around them. Yeah, they're like, yeah, like we worked out hard yesterday. Feed off each yeah. other. We worked out. Yeah, we can't go. You're sore. I take. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, that sounds a bit crazy. Uh, it's like. You know what you're doing? You're programming this guy to be even a bigger bitch than he is right now. Yeah. And it's just a con. But again, it's it's an environment. And people get very uncomfortable when they're around people that are very ambitious or they have that kind of mindset Mm -hmm. because they're being challenged. And naturally, off the bat, you're going to feel uncomfortable. Like You shouldn't be like, well, this is an environment that sounds really attractive right now. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it's going to get more comfortable. And you just need to adapt your body and mind to it. Like When you go into something new, like a new sport – you're going to be the worst at it most likely, or you're going to have an uphill battle. Like that's an okay thing. It's okay to be uncomfortable. And I think people need to adopt the mindset. Like discomfort is yeah. a good thing. It really is because at that point you're challenging the person you are right now. It's not working in this realm yeah. and, really and you're, you're and, and you're improving and you're growing. Yeah. And from there you achieve things, you accomplish things and you become better and you improve on who you are. Yeah. You get confidence from that in all aspects of your life. And then you, you start actually doing more things that align with your natural ability and uh i guess consensus yeah right I'd say, yeah. or or you're just doing mm-hmm. shit that you don't really care about because it's easy mm-hmm. where's that get you exactly and it doesn't i don't know if if you're doing it even every day if you're doing if you do something every day to to kind of give you that fulfillment it's gonna make every day awesome you know like do you, you shit you don't want to do yes yeah, so you have that fulfillment at the end of the day mm-hmm. yeah and it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be huge. No, it doesn't mean like, hey man, like go do something super uncomfortable no. where you hate your day. Like no, you, you yeah. wake up tomorrow and you're like, oh my God, my life sucks. Yeah. Like, no, that's not sustainable. No. I wouldn't want to do that every single day. But no. there's going to be some aspect, like not every day I want to go work out. Most mm-hmm. days I do. But not, yeah. <laughs> I like it. There we go. <laughs> no, but there's going to be some days you just don't want to do it. Right. And uh-huh. like, like I was there when I was swimming. Like I did, like I would drive past when I did a month of swimming, getting ready for my half Ironman. Yeah. I would drive past Tansy Woods. So I was doing it in March at like, and most of my swims were at like 6 a.m. So it's okay. dark, it's cold. I kind of suck at swimming at this point. So yeah. I drive past the building on like days that I'd already swim. And I'd like dread knowing that tomorrow I have to do 2,000 meters. Yeah. Or, you know, it, it got to the point where like I, I would almost get sick to my stomach. But I'm like, oh, like just seeing that place. It was weird because I was just like at that point, it was just uncomfortable for me. Didn't like the, didn't like the water. I wasn't doing really well with it. So it's naturally, it's all these very uncomfortable feelings. But then what happens? You get day by day. Then you feed off of it, right? And then after you do, you're and fucking like. People need to realize. Like, yeah. they, I need to grab them and like shake them. Like, it's going to get easier. <laughs> but you doing once every four days of being uncomfortable. Yeah. Recipe for disaster. Because you're only going to, like that first day is like Groundhog Day. Mm-hmm. Every, you're, you're not allowing your body and mind to adapt to the stress and stimuli. Yeah. So what happens? I don't know. You're, you're super uncomfortable. You're not growing of course you're not going to want to keep going there and it's going to feel so shit that you don't have enough willpower to fight that off yeah. so you, you got to get to the point where you just gotta you almost gotta dive in to some extent doesn't mean like you gotta go six days in a row and just be like oh I'm, i gotta go jujitsu every single day mm-hmm. but you have to go enough where you're you're improving and you're getting comfortable in the environment yeah agreed yeah i hear you man because without that man you're you're a pussy and you're fucked <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're straight screwed <laughs>